Okay, today's tutorial is how to make a watercolor wheel. This is helpful because maybe you only have red, yellow, and blue to paint with, or maybe you just have enough money to buy red, yellow, and blue paints and you can't afford the other colors. This will show you how to mix the other colors just using these three. So, even though our watercolor set has the other colors, it's still valuable to learn where the colors are on the color wheel, how to mix them to make the other ones and their relationships with each other. So just grab something round, you can use a bowl, a plate, a tape dispenser, just something round and you're just gonna trace it. When I do this with my classes, we just use plastic plates. So trace a circle and then you're gonna divide it into four parts. You can use a ruler if you want it to be perfect. So to divide it into 12, slices, you draw a line through the middle, then make an X, so you have four pie slices. Now we need 12, so 12 divided by 4 is 3, so we need to divide each one of these into three parts. And you can do that by just making two lines. And I usually just try to figure out, okay, I need three pie slices to fit in here, so I don't want to make one too big and in the middle, so start over on the side and you're going to divide it into three. So one, two, three, four, five, six, and then we need to divide each one of these into three as well, just like we did with those two. So just draw two lines in each one to divide it into three. And there you have your 12 pie slices. If you want to learn how to make it more um, exact, you can watch the tutorial how to divide a circle into 12 equal parts. Um, but this will work. As long as your pie slices are fairly similar, then it, it'll be fine. So don't worry about making it perfect at this point. So now that you've drawn your circle and you've divided it into 12 different parts, now we're going to start by painting in our colors. And first we're going to paint in the primary colors, which are red, yellow, and blue. These are sippy cups. <laughs> okay. Before you start painting, I've learned this from sad experience, label your color wheel. You can just label it with the first letter of the color or you can write it in. So I'm just going to write in the name of the colors that I'm going to be painting in here. So first start out with, I start out with red, and I probably should have put in it more over this. Count three spaces over, so on the fourth space over, blue, so there should be three empty pie slices in between your primary colors. So red, one, two, three, four is blue. I'm writing upside down. One, two, three, four, yellow. So we have the primary colors, red, yellow, red, yellow, and blue. Now we're gonna put in our secondary colors. So what happens when you mix red and blue? What colors do you get? What color do you get? Purple or violet? So in between red and blue, there's three pie slices, and in the very middle one, that's where you're going to put purple or violet. V-I-O-L-E-T. Okay, what happens when you mix red and yellow? You get the color orange. Orange. So what happens when you mix yellow and blue? What color do you get? Green. So you're gonna go to the middle pie slice, remember like hop over one and come to the next. Hop over one and come to the next. You're going to put green. G-R-E-E-N. -E ah, don't ask me why that one's not in caps. Okay, now we're going to put in our tertiary colors. Those are basically, it's a really complicated word for the colors in between the primary colors. And I usually just use the first letters of the colors. And if you look at your crayons, they're these same colors. They always start with the primary color, so it's never orange-red, it's always red-orange. It's never green-blue, it's always blue-green. Check your crayons and see if I'm telling you the truth. So I'm just going to put Y-O for yellow-orange. I'm going to put R-O for red-orange. In between red and violet, I'm going to put R, V for red violet. In between violet and blue, I'm going to put a B and a V for blue violet. In between blue and green, I'm going to put a B, G for 
blue green in between green and yellow I'm gonna put a GY just kidding that was a trick I'm gonna put a YG for yellow green so now when I if you're lucky you have these colors that can pop out if it's hard for you not to use these colors um, then just take them out so I'm gonna take mine out so I just have red yellow and blue so I'm moving out my green violet and orange I'm just taking them out so it's not bad to use the other colors but for this exercise we just want to use red yellow and blue and learn how to make all of the colors from those colors Water. always have a paper towel handy and let's just go ahead and start with red why not and paint your whole pie slice in with red Hey, you want to avoid scrubbing, which is like going back and forth over the same thing, or you're going to scrub right through your paper. Okay, now I'm going to paint yellow. So just paint in the primary colors first. So you can get a really nice saturated color. Remember, you need to drop a little water in your tray in order to use the color. So I'm just going to paint in my yellow. Now let's go ahead and go to blue. So mix, rinse your brush off, get blue wet. Hopefully this isn't too boring. <laughs> I've painted a lot of color wheels in my time and it's, it never really gets boring. They always are kind of different. So now what we're going to do is we're going to start with our primary color and we're going to start to mix the other primary color into it. So we're going to make a red violet, a violet, and a blue violet. So I've made a puddle in my tray with some red in it. I want this to have more red than it has blue because this is red violet. So red is the dominant color. I'm just going to grab a little bit of my blue, mix it in. You might want to test it out on your paper towel to see what color it is. So that's okay. That's an okay red violet. And I'm going to go ahead and paint in. Oh, I'm just going to add a little more blue. And guess what color I get? Violet. If you paint right next to wet watercolors, what happens? They bleed. So watch out for that. <laughs> you can leave a little white road in between if you're worried about that. So now I'm going to add a little bit more blue. Blue violet is just such a good color. Hey, so if you do it well, it, should, it shouldn't jump from color to color like it jumps right there. So it should look gradual. So see if you can do better than I did. <laughs> okay, so now let's go ahead and go from blue to yellow. So make a little puddle. I'm going to start out with blue. I maybe want this to be a little bit brighter than my red, so I'm going to add a lot more blue to it. Okay, so what's my next color? Ah, blue-green. So, I'm gonna add a little bit of yellow. I don't want it to be green, I want it to be blue-green. Which is a beautiful color, almost like jade. So. See how I just keep trying it on my tray to see if I like the color? So that's pretty good. It's blue green. Now I'm going to add a little bit more yellow till I get green. It's pretty green, but it could be a little more. Okay. There's not really a right or wrong way to do this. I mean, there's so many different variations of color that you can't do it wrong, really. Let me just show you really quick. This is the green we just mixed up. Make sure you can see this in the camera. And this is the green that came with my paint set. I just want you to see the difference. Can you see it? I'll add a little more pigment. So that's the color we mix. That's the color that comes with the tray. So there's a big difference. So then you're gonna mix a little bit more yellow with it. We're trying to make our yellow green. It's hard for this one to not look like it's totally jumping to me. Remember red and yellow make orange. 
Let's start out with yellow, why not? I'm just gonna mix it in this part of my tray. So to get the green off of your yellow, just put a little color on there and just kind of blot it off. You don't want to scrape away a ton of your color, so be careful. I'm going to grab some yellow and drop it in my tray over here. Let me make sure you can see that. Okay. So you're just making a puddle of yellow. And then you're going to add a little bit of your red. I'll move my water so you can see my colors better. So I've got my yellow, I'm gonna add a little red. Red is super powerful and yellow is not very powerful. So I'm trying to make my red orange. So that, let's go ahead and paint that in. And then I'm gonna add a little more red to get my orange. Okay, and then I'm gonna add a little bit more red for my red orange. And just paint in your pie slice. And there you have your color wheel. So this is helpful to know, let's say I want to paint something with complementary colors. Well, what is red's complement? Just right across from it is green. What's blue's complement? Orange. What is red violet's complement? This is where I get confused. Yellow greens. Analogous colors or colors next to each other on the color wheel or um, warm colors and cool colors. Split complementary, you can make all sorts of color combinations. And um, the co this is gonna be helpful in a lot of projects. So if I'm painting something with red and I wanna make my red darker, sometimes I'll add green. Or if I'm shading a face, I'll actually add a little blue to my skin color to make the shadows. And blue mixed with orange can make a pretty good brown. So there's the color wheel. Hopefully this was helpful. This is a great first step to watercolors. If you want to get more advanced, um, what I do is, see. So I have done different color combinations here. So I started with yellow. I'm going to yellow green and I wanna mix all of my colors together here. Or, sorry. I had this ready earlier. Um, I wanted to see what my complementary colors would do when I mix them with each other. So blue and orange are complementary colors, and when you mix them together you kind of get like this nice gray. Here is blue and yellow. So I mix them together and then I've added a little water in these squares right here. So I just made a grid and then I'm just playing around with my colors and seeing what the different combinations make. Also if the color was a little too boring for you, you know, you could do it in a different kind of pattern, something like this. So I hope you enjoyed this project. Um, there's some nice watercolors. <laughs> Hopefully um, it was helpful and I hope you have a wonderful day and enjoy painting with your watercolor sets.